Now, the next part of the question is finding the percentage uncertainty in uh, this uh, uh, mu. So, the formula should be equal to if I follow this formula. So, delta mu by mu should be equal to uh, delta m by m since the slope has got error. G has got no error, so it does not count. Phu is a constant quantity, it does not count. So, plus it should be uh, f square, so it should be 2 delta f by f. f has got error here, uh, plus then l also has got error, so it is a 2 delta l by l. Now, the value should be the value of delta m is equal to if I go through the previous paper here. If I go through the previous paper, let me search for the previous paper. I lost it, lost it, lost it. So, I am losing it actually. So, if I go to the previous paper, here it is, here it is. So, if I go through uh, this previous paper, previous paper, the uh, error in the slope, error in the gradient will be, will be, will be equal to. So, let me arrange this. So, things always get messy when you deal with a paper 5 because there are 4 pages actually. So, the value of delta m is, delta m is this, this thing. So, full value I am using. So, its value is equal to 0 0.673894 divided. The full value of m is 8.020833 plus. So, this is 2 into uh, 5 divided uh, 120 plus. It's again 2 into 0 0.01 divided. Uh, L is 1.54. So, uh, delta F is fi 5, 5 here, F is 120, 120. Then again, uh, delta L is uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and L is 1.54. So, when I do the calculation, its value will come to be equal to. So, let us do the uh, calculations. So, it is 0 0.67 94 uh, divided 8.020833 equal to equal to uh, this much. So, yeah, now plus uh, plus uh, uh, in the bracket it is 2510 10 divided 120 bracket close plus again it is uh, bracket uh, 0 0.02 uh, divided 1.54 bracket close equal to. So, it becomes it becomes 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0, 0.3, something, something. So, that means in terms of percentage, so therefore, percentage uncertainty, uncertainty in uh, mu should be equal to this thing converted to percentage. So, it is 18.03 percentage and when we write it in 2SF maximum, so it becomes 18 percentage. So, any type of uncertainty should be uh, in a 2 SF maximum. So, it is 18 only. Now, the last one, the last and uh, uh, probably the most difficult one. It says that the experiment is uh, repeated using the same code. The frequency is changed to this much. So, the new value of f is this much. We have to find the value of uh, mass required, which is the large value uh, m here. So, if I go through the formula, I have got to, uh, so this m is equal to, this m is equal to somewhat like this. So, let me first write here, m is equal to, I am just copying the formula from question 1. So, m is equal to uh, 4 this uh, mu f square l square by g into 1 by n square. So, Determine the mass m required to produce a wave with two antinodes. Two antinodes means this n equal to two, n equal to two. Include the absolute uncertainty in your answer. And uh, what it, it has done is the frequency has been changed to 180. Had the frequency been not changed, we could simply have used the value of the gradient. But here, what it has done is the frequency has been changed. So, so, so that is why uh, I need to use a different, uh, uh, I need, need to do the whole calculations. So, let us go for the value of this m. So, m is equal to 4 into the value of this mu is this, this full value here. So, it is uh, 
six zero zero into ten to the power minus four into f square is this one eighty square one eighty square into uh, so same chord means uh, the length is same so length is here we have one point five four then square whole divided g is equal to nine point eight one into this n is equal to two number of n nodes so it is one by two square so the value becomes equal to so it's a long calculation actually so let's do so it is uh, four into 5.7600 exponent uh, minus 4 minus 4 into 180 square into 1.54 square divided 9.81 equal to and then when it is divided by by this uh, one one by two square so by four so it is uh, when it's uh, divided by uh, four it becomes 4.511, 4.511697kg, 7kg. So the answer is also in uh, in SI in kg. So our conversion has been has been useful. The conversion that we did uh, with uh, such a hard work has been useful. Now I need to find the answer in here. So delta m by m m should be equal to so I have to go for all these things here, all these things. So it is uh, delta mu by mu plus two delta f by f plus L is so error, uh, two uh, delta L by L uh, plus G has got no error and this N also has got no error. So this is the value of the fractional uncertainty. So equal to so delta mu is somewhere here we have delta mu by mu is this much so 0 0.1803 plus this is 2 into delta f is 5 divided 180 plus 2 into delta l is 0 0.01 divided 1.54 so the value comes to be once again such long calculations that we have to I uh, do so point uh, one eight zero uh, three zero three zero three plus bracket ten divided one eighty bracket close plus bracket point zero two divided one point five four bracket close equal to so it is it is it is zero point so it it becomes it becomes zero point two four eight eight four to 5 so therefore delta m is equal to 0 0.2488425 into the value of m is 4.511697 equal to so into 4.511697 so this will be 1.1.122 7 kg so when i write it in 2 sf it is 1.1 only so plus minus 1.1 plus minus 1.1 now if i write 1.1 here if i write 1.1 as the uncertainty and if i write this uh, 4.511697 here so error starts from the first digit first digit of uh, before decimal so I must write up to here, up to here. So that's why all of these things will come to round off to this. So it becomes simply 5 plus minus 1.1 kg. So this is the final answer to question number E and the completion of our whole work.